previously. What are you up to today, you freaking goober? It's a Don't chamber. worry about it. On Progression Series Season 2. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we are not. Do you want to change anything else? What? I don't need to. <laughs> Please? <laughs> By the skin of my I teeth. I can't believe it. Yeah, oh. yeah. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, We'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. What an ignorant fool. Gage thought he could beat me in the most skillful mirror match of all time. Well, he failed, and that's why we get to spin the wheel again, and he is on the verge of a banning as well. This is going to be a wonderful episode for multiple reasons, so let's spin the wheel and see what we get first, and there's a lot of cool stuff we could get, so... Oh, shit! You know, this slice is great, but I hate it because there's so many cards we have to think about. So I'll be right back. So I took some time to think this over, and those who see what page I am currently on or already know where I am going with this. Gage was fortunate enough to get a copy of Maxi previous episode for losing, so he had to open the Astral Packs. And sometimes the Astral Packs are pretty crazy, but uh, let's just say Gage won't be the only one with a copy of Maxi for much longer. If we go into the 2012 promo tins, right here, CT09, ENO12, Max C. It was a promo, I believe, in the Hanzo tin, if my memory serves correctly. And uh, regardless of what tin it came in, it's a promo. We spun the wild card promo, so we'll be adding a copy of Max C to our collection, and hopefully we'll get to use it today. Speaking of Gage, though, let's throw on it over to him so he can tell you all about today's set, Premium Gold. Guys, I don't even know what to say. What what happened last episode? The fucking chain burn mirror match? Who would have predicted something as silly as that? And it was close, too. We were 100 life points off game one, and it was down to the last card in game two. I hate to lose to that Alex Simo, bro, but sometimes he's just proficient in some decks, right? Maybe he just got lucky. No, he definitely just got lucky. We'll say that. Today, though, we'll bring it back. We have premium gold, and this is actually a good set to open, unlike Star Pack 14, which we opened last week. Premium Gold is the next step after the original Gold series, which I honestly think is the end of the good Gold series. Uh, I don't like the Premium Gold rarity. If you look at the cards, the gold uh, texture on the back, sorry. Premium Gold series is the predecessor to the original Gold series. I honestly think it's where Gold series went to die too. I think the old school Gold series just have a special feel to them. Uh, and I think the rarity would change with Premium Gold. Let me see if I can find a picture. I guess it's a good picture here. Premium Gold ended up changing how the Gold rarity looked. Uh, for the rest of the cards here, you can tell there is a much like brighter uh, text rather than like the rustic type of gold and it also reflects on the borders of the cards too. It just doesn't look as like nostalgic? Is that the word I'm looking for? It doesn't look right. <laughs> and then don't even get me started on maximum gold. We'll talk about that when we actually get the maximum gold. Premium gold I think afterwards is like ugh, the rarity just doesn't sit well with me. Here's another one. Premium gold dark magician looks tacky. I, I don't know why. It just doesn't look like the old gold rares. I'm yapping. Premium gold actually did one cool thing, and that's give us another opportunity to get OCG imports. Uh, we didn't have many ways to get that back then. I think World Superstars was like one of the best sets that we got in a while to be able to get OCG imports, but uh, the premium gold set gave us an entire gold secret rare rarity, which is all filled with different OCG imports we haven't gotten before. The imports are all housed in that gold secret rare, and then if you look at the regular gold rare, it's all just strictly reprints. There's a lot of really good ones, actually. As far as the gold secret rares... There's like one or two things that matter, like Ancient Pixie Dragons and OK Level 7. Dinotherium's pretty cool. Um, on turn one, it's just essentially a free level four you can summon because your opponent probably won't have a monster in the graveyard. The gimmick puppets, um, the support's neat, but 
really didn't do too much. Heartland Draco is actually a pretty decent card. Another rank four that allows you attack directly. Became a little bit more relevant when Zeus was a card. Other than that, man, there's not too much. I love the Ghost of a Grudge. Look at that artwork. So freaking cute. Sucky card. But also we got Gold Secret Prince of all the God cards here. That was a reprint, I guess. Oh, and Silent Wabi. Um, silly with things like Mystic Mind <laughs> later on down the line. You get one Gold Secret Rare per pack. I'm not going to be looking for anything specifically from it. I don't think they're great. But the Gold Rares themselves, there's some really banger reprints. Cards like Effect Veiler, Honest, Lone Fire Blossom, Light Pulsar Dragons, an especially big one because this was locked in a structure deck as well as Dark Flare and Eclipse Wyvern. These were all in the same structure deck. Colossal Fighter is a sick reprint. Friggin' all the Forbidden cards. Uh, what else, man? There's crazy stuff in here. Friggin' Caius, Dark Arm Dragon, Prime Material, Mind Control, Titanial, Ryko, Chaos Sorcerer. Looking back on this, this was a banger set for, like, Edison format. There's a lot of sick reprints in here. Mainly, we're gonna be looking to things that we didn't have access to before. Cards like Light Pulsar and stuff like we already said. These we originally didn't even have access to in the Progression series, so I'd like to get my hands on a couple copies of them now. At least I don't have to see the ugly premium gold rarity because we're opening them digitally. Obviously, opening a box is worth isn't going to cut it. We decided to open up a little bit more packs today, so we're going to open 15 packs of the premium gold set. Should give us a pretty good opportunity to get some pretty cool cards. First things first, though, I have to open more pity packs. Our last Astral Pack 4 opening was unbelievable. Like, actually one of the best openings we've had yet. I'm going to get three more of them. Could we roll another Max C? Could we get that lucky? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's just, let's just open them up. Flip them up. Necro Valley, an ultimate rare! That's, dude, that's so sick! I mean, Necro Valley, we have like a billion copies of it, so maybe it's not the coolest thing, but if I pulled this in real life, I'd be pogging. Break, draw, and a whole bunch of other poopy spell cards. That's a very green pack. What's the last one look like? Spellbook of Eternity. Fossil Dine is actually pretty cool. I'm unsure if we have three copies of him, so getting him in a reprint's not that bad. And Titanial, maybe we'll see her today in Premium Gold. Add these to the collection. Enough wasting time. Let's go open Premium Gold. All right, so we're going to be opening five boxes of premium gold. Each box came with three packs of five cards. So in total, that's 15 packs or 75 cards if you want to look at it that way. There's a lot of really good shit in this pack. Uh, funny enough, none of it is really in the actual premium gold rare section. Most of what we want is the regular gold rare stuff. And uh, you'll see why momentarily. Actually, you won't because you've already seen it since Gage talked about it. In any case, flip up the first pack and there we go. Rise of the Storm Monarch. First time we're actually uh, acquiring this card as a matter of fact and we still have a decent like frog monarch deck if we want to play it people played frog monarch during this period it wasn't like the most played deck but people did play it and heartland draco as a generic four to access uh actually a pretty good one at that i'm actually kind of disappointed i forgot that each of these packs come with two gold secret rares and three regular gold rares i thought it was four and one and that actually means that these gold rares are going to be even harder to pull than i was expecting and uh that might foil our plans well this is looking pretty nice a copy of Plague Spreader and a copy of Lance and another copy of Titanial as well. So I think we've only had one copy of Lance this whole time. Gage has been rocking with a full playset, I think. That's our second Plague Spreader, I believe, as well, or our third. I'd have to check. But Plague Spreader recently came unlimited, and there were some, like, zombie decks around the time because both this and Mizuki are at three, so that's kind of sick. And Titanial as well, if we want to play any sort of, like, plant deck, not terrible. This is the first time we've had access to Exploder Dragon. This, I believe, was a promo in one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! video games. It may have actually been in one of the DS games, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but in any case, not a terrible card if we want to play a sort of dragon strategy because it's sort of like a dragon-focused exiled force, kind of. Uh, like I said, a lot of the reprints I'm looking after, I'm actually looking for, like, Light Pulsar, uh, Dark Flare, especially Eclipse Wyvern. An unbelievable card uh, would be Eclipse Wyvern to pull. I'm pretty confident we can get it in 15 packs. Flip them up. I don't think I needed anything in this pack, but <laughs> but that's cool. Okay, Titanial's kind of neat. Already have, like, our Dark Arm Dragon and the Gimmick Puppets. Oh, my God. Ooh, Light Pulsar coming out here. Love to see the Pulsar Dragon. Really, really strong Chaos Monster here. Pair it with, like, a thing like Red MD, which... I don't think we were lucky enough to get Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. I think Alex has one in his collection, so maybe he's looking after something like this too. Maybe we could weave, uh, maybe we could find a place to put Pulsar Dragon into. I'm actually really happy to pull him. Ooh, Colossal Fighter is massive. Like I said, locked in a structure deck before. This is our first time besides like randomly getting it as an ultimate rare in Turbo Pack. Um, Colossal Fighter's awesome to pull. Great rank eight, uh, level eight, excuse me. Uh, good card. Mm. There's our first Gold Seeker Rare God card, the Winged Dragon of Raw. Beals the Diabolic Dragon is actually also a, an extremely good card that I didn't point out in the go-over. 
A level 8 that requires a dark tuner, but it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. If you take damage involving it, uh, it gains attack equal to damage you took. Really, this thing was like a, just an asshole to deal with, right? Can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. It's pretty good. Completely forgot about this guy here, actually. I'm really happy to pick up a copy. So this is actually an important pack. Uh, we got a copy of Tiger King, which doesn't really matter too much, although we didn't have a copy of it before. But more importantly, we have a, the only probably good gold secret rare in the entire set, which is Beals of the Diabolic Dragons. Uh, Beals is just kind of an asshole. It needs a dark tuner specifically to make, but aside from that, it's an, a generic eight. Can't be killed by battle or card effects. If you take damage from an attack involving this card or from an opponent's card effect, this card gained attack equal to the damage you took. So just a very annoying card for a lot of decks to out during this period. There's a copy of Celestia to pair with our final copy of Forbidden Lands. Actually pretty nice if we want to play any sort of like Light Sworn focus strategy. I think we were missing Celestia and uh, she's insane. And there we go. That is, I believe, our third copy of Caius the Shadow Monarch. Uh, we've been lacking a third Caius the entire time we've been playing Monarchs and uh, there we finally go. And more importantly, uh, maybe more importantly, it's hard to say, Dark Flare Dragon. So the Chaos Dragons were locked behind a structure deck and we weren't able to access them for the early parts of like 2011, 2012. And the deck did see some play during this time, not a ton, kind of like similar to Frog Monarch, but Light Pulsar is in here as well. And we've still got eight packs. If we can pull some Light Pulsars, there's some chaos potential. Ooh, that's actually a sick card as well. I don't think we've had Colossal Fighter. Didn't Colossal Fighter debut in like a structure deck or something? And I think the only other chance we had to pull this was in... What was it? I think it was an ulti in one of the turbo packs, and we're past turbo packs now, but that's another really strong generic eight. Again, we need a deck that can make eights, but that's insane. Another copy of Celestia and Eclipse Wyvern as well. Another one of the cards that we could play in Chaos Dragon. I'm not sure what Eclipse Wyvern's status currently is on the Forbidden Limited list, but at the very least, I'm pretty sure it's limited. I don't think it gets banned until later when people really start to abuse this card, but not a terrible card. Prime Material coming up there. It is what it is. That's a pack. Another Light Pulsar and Exploder Dragon. My man, love to see the Exploder Dragon here. If it's destroyed by battle sent to the graveyard, destroy the monster that destroyed it. Take no battle damage from attacks involving it. I like the look of this card. I've always liked the look of this card. Wow, Ancient Pixie Dragon. We talked about this being one of the better cards of the set. Uh, it's just a good all-around level 7. If a field spell card is activated, we get to draw a card. And then once per turn, we can pop a face-up monster on the field. I mean, hey, that's not so bad. That's only if we control a field spell, too. Wow, that's my third Beals I ended up pulling. This is a better pack, though. The mind control is nice. I... Don't know if I have a full play set of it yet, but I I'm pretty sure it's not at more than one at the moment anyways. Only a few packs left of premium gold. And I gotta be honest, we've been getting a lot of the big hits. We're still missing a few of them, but we've got three packs left and I'm really hoping that we can see them here. First pack, nothing too great. I love to see me a breaker, but I think we already have plenty of breakers until the end of time. Second to last pack, Chalice, I actually don't know how many copies we have, so I will happily take that. But aside from that, not too great. Drago Necro is like, okay, but it's very situational. Last pack, anything good? We already have everything there. I don't know if we can really do much with the Tiger King. Okay, so now I have to think about this. You might be thinking to yourself, Alex, you obviously keep this, right? You got a lot of the stuff that you were looking for. Not necessarily. Okay, so here's the issue. So where I'm conflicted is we only get 45 gold rares in the whole opening. So it's hard to get everything. One thing I think we really missed is Honest. Honest, I think, is just good generic light support, period, regardless of what deck we play. And not hitting that kind of sucks. But I also wanted to play Chaos Dragon, but we didn't get any light pulsars. Like, we got one Dark Flare and Eclipse Wyvern. Those are fine. But you really need light pulsar because that's sort of like one of the best cards in the deck. If you can recall, we actually pulled Red MD a few sets back, I believe, in Joey's World. So we have the makings of Chaos Dragon, but we actually need to pull stuff like Light Pulsar. Colossal Fighter, if we respin it, it's kind of past its prime, so it's not the end of the world. I really like having multiple Lances because that's a generically good card moving forward. But like, what else? We got a Caius and a Ryza, which are good for our like Frog Monarch, but again, they're also kind of past their prime as well. Another Plague is nice, but like we got multiple of those. And uh, we got multiple Celestia, which is pretty good. But again, depending on the circumstances and the deck that we play, I'm not really sure how good. So I'm, oh, I'm really conflicted on this one. Ooh, ooh, Eclipse Wyvern. I'm so happy to see Eclipse Wyvern. This is a card that's been forbidden for a very long time. Probably will be forbidden 
forever. I think this card's insane. If it's sent to the graveyard, you banish a level 7 or higher light or dark dragon from your deck. And if it's banished from the graveyard, you get to add that monster to your hand. So some really cool things back in the day was the Chaos Dragon deck. You just mill a whole shit ton of your cards from your deck. Banish the Eclipse Wyvern and then pick up another one. With a card like Future Fusion in our deck, you know I just dump Eclipse Wyvern. And then I can banish it with a Dragon Roller and get it for free. Curious what the dark or light dragon that we'll be banishing is. Typically it's Red MD. I don't think I have a copy of Red MD. Uh, another card in the pack here, Dark Arm Dragon, was used fringe every now and again actually to be able to pick up off it as well so maybe that's a good card look at these two we got <laughs> obelisk and slifer i have all the god cards now in gold secret rarity ballin all right two more packs left can i get anything good in the close i'm pretty happy with the opening another lance might be the third i'm pretty happy with it but in the last pack another eclipse wyvern look at that i have every searchable target here dark arm judgment dragon i man if this was sealed showdown i would be clapping Nah, this was a really above average, you know, premium gold opening. I'm happy with it. We're going to add it to the collection, and uh, we're going to see what we're building today. You know what? I'm not normally a greedy guy, but I really want to bring you guys a cool new deck today. So we are going to reset. 15 more packs. Let's do it. Okay, we'll see if I regret this. Uh, there's plenty of things I want to refund on, but most importantly, I want to get some Light Pulsars. I think because we have Red MD Light Pulsar, that's super strong. Not to mention, we got, uh, I think, Shock Bouncer in a previous set. I think that was actually last episode. It got reprinted in Star Pack, of all things. And we actually have, like, good sixes to go into for once. So let's see what we get. Uh, first pack. Okay, there's another Lance. If anything, I want the Lances back because those are going to be useful for a while. Solar Recharge is actually pretty good too. I don't think we pulled any of those. I think we have one of these from Light of Destruction, actually, if you can believe that. And that's actually a pretty good card for, you know, either, you know, any sort of deck that plays it at Light Sworn Engine, but also just Light Sworn, period. We got our Exploder Dragon back. I don't really care too much about that. Okay, Celestia we got back. I'm happy to see that. Granted, there's other things I'd be happier to see, but so far this respin's not looking promising. Okay, at first I was kind of disgusted by this pack, but then I looked at the gold secrets and we got Beals and Heartland Drago back. So to be fair, those are like the only two gold secrets I actually care about. So at least that's done. Yes, yes. Okay, we got a copy of Honest. Honest might be limited right now. I have to double check, but in any case, just getting a copy of Honest Period is good for all the light decks that we can play in the future. This can get a lot of mileage. Okay, Eclipse Wyvern again. Again, not like the best, but we still need... I, how have I not pulled a single light Pulsar in like 30 packs? Are you kidding me? All right, this is it. The last few packs, and um, I gotta be honest, we haven't broken even from our previous opening, but we've almost gotten everything back that matters, if that makes sense. Let's see what we get here. Ugh, that I, that that pack just kind of sucks. I don't need any of that. Two more packs, come on. Just, can I get a light Pulsar? Oh my God, three, so I think we have three solar recharge though. If we do, that's actually kind of cracked. All right, what are we gonna get in the last pack? I think I would like the third Lance more than anything at this point, because I don't know what else can really make up for the fact. One light Pulsar, I don't think it's going to cut it, but let's see what we get. Of course, we didn't get it anyway. 30 packs, no light Pulsar. That is actually insane. Okay, so we lost the Caius and the Ryza, which kind of sucks, but again, I feel like those cards are a bit dated at this point. Let's be honest, a lot of these cards are dated at this point, but... Three copies of Solar Recharge, potentially. I, I think I have a third one that I pulled previously. I have Lances. I got uh, the Wyvern, the Honest. I still have Celestia. Um, I think I did better before. I'll be honest. I did better before, but I'm happy we got back most of it. And I wanted to bring you guys a new deck. So at the end of the day, that's just how it goes. Let's get to building. I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm playing. I know it's not the most exciting thing to see Dragon Rulers popping up again, but I promise we have a different shell, different strategy we're kind of working with here. Uh, hopefully we can come out on top. I still think this is by far the best deck that we have in our arsenal. No matter what way we flip it, whether it's just like the full power with just making rank 7s, the mythic rulers that were able to make some cool rank 8s, or the, the version that we ended up piloting today after pulling Eclipse Wyvern, I thought we could plug in a Light and Darkness Dragon, but also we're going to be focusing on summon Leo, the Keeper of the Sacred Tree, turn 1. Leo's an asshole, bro. This guy's just an, an irritating dude to deal with. So generic level 10, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects except during my main phase two. That means cards like Silent Honor Arc that Alex pulled, he can't even use them. You have to do it during my main phase two. Make it just a really 
fucking irritating card to deal with, like I said. Like, he has to have the right out for it specifically, or just some generic board wipe, uh, which we don't even have much of right now. So that's going to be our main strategy for this deck here, is we're going to just try to stick Leo turn one and hope he's a big enough douchebag to be able to win the game. Uh, our tuners that we're going to be able to do that with is Dragoonity Dark Spear as well as Influence Dragon, both wins to be able to pair with Tempest, but more importantly, their uh, stats is the thing that matters because they all fit under Cards of Consonance. That gives us literally infinite cards that we can pitch off this. This card will always be live, and our trade-ins are always going to be live with Blue Eyes, Mythic Water, Dragons, and the likes. One of the big changes is we used to play a lot of Raigeki Break, but I decided to switch it over to Phoenix Wing Wind Blast today because this outs like a little bit more difficult things. Like, Raigeki Break has always been in contention with Lead Yoke. I don't know if Alex is going to rock up with Balan Boxer again, but more sticky monsters that are a little bit more difficult to out with just Destruction, uh, Wing Blast can take care of. It's a little bit worse going into cards like Vanity's Fiend and stuff because he just gets them back the next turn. But, you know, I, I think with this deck alone, we should be winning games. I don't think we should be losing with against Vanity's Fiend again. I... Uh, I hope not. Everything else is pretty much the same. I'm happy we got to plug in a couple of the new cards like Eclipse Wyvern, being able to search out Light and Darkness Dragon, which was played back in Dragon Roller era, you know, just tributing two dudes that come out to the board for free to be able to summon this guy. Um, he's also an asshole, bro. <laughs> this guy's fucking irritating to deal with. And then we also added Colossal Fighter into the extra deck too. Not many ways to make Armory Arm to go for the super combo. We have to do something like White Stone plus Lightning or White Stone plus Burner, but hey, maybe it comes up. I'm happy with this though. It just seems like it's the best deck in our arsenal. The side deck is like easily teched out to be able to deal with what we need it to. I think this is the most comfortable deck that I have in my collection right now. I need to get some wins. I'm at a two loss streak after losing the Chain Burn, so uh, I just need to get some wins. And I know Alex is always honed in on the fact that I'll play this, but no matter what he tries, it seems like this deck is just able to navigate whatever he plays. I'm hoping it's going to be the same this time around. Uh, I think we'll be able to get a win with this, and maybe Leo is just too big for him to out. Let's see what Alex is playing today. Let's see if he can sack up to our rulers. Okay, this hasn't gone the best for us the last couple times, but I think this might be the most well-equipped I am if Gage is bringing Ruler. My thought is Gage is on the verge of a banning. I don't think he really wants to go to the banning, and so as a result of that, I think he's going to go back to the Ruler deck after the last few episodes where he hasn't, and so I'm going to play something to try to stun him out. Now, as we've established, it's very hard to beat this Ruler deck, right? And so I think if we can flood him out, I've got a lot of tech to be able to deal with the stuff that he has, We'll see how it goes. So what are we up to? Well, we up the Evil Swarm count significantly. So we're actually playing Azathoth, which isn't like the best card. It's actually not bad though, because if Gage summons like a Draco Sack or a Big Eye, this can actually handle that. But more importantly, it's more Evil Swarm names. So this, especially with Salamander, now that we have three copies, I think we got these in one of the Battle Pack episodes. We have a lot of Evil Swarm names. We have 14 to be precise. And so that with three Caster plus a Rota, I mean, that should be enough to hopefully get us a turn one Ophion. If not, we have a backup plan with Kage to Kage. Why is this here? Well, we can use this to go into Master Key Beetle with any of our Evil Swarms. And if we hard draw Emptiness, for instance, we can use Key Beetle Lock to protect Emptiness. And then it's effectively Ophion, but in some ways better and in some ways worse. They both have their pros and cons. So effectively, we're trying to make budget Ophion in that sense. And so it gives us like an alternate going first plan, if you will. And then we also have our newly acquired Maxi, just because if we go second, this might actually be a way to deter him from just going completely off. Then for the spells, we still have the Dark Hole. Forbidden Dress has to be active before a targeting effect targets, because if you use Forbidden Dress after the fact, it still goes through. But the Destruction is different, because with a Destruction effect, that'll still be an effect. So Regeki Break, for instance, if I chain Dress, it still can't be destroyed by other card effects. So that's fine. The fact that Regeki Break targets is irrelevant. Of it. This paired with two copies of Forbidden Lance are actually quite nice. And honestly, like, we also have the fact that Dress lowers attack, so it does make things a little bit easier to kill. We, of course, have the one Pandemic. I have two MSTs, kind of as, like, the 39th and 40th card. There's not really a lot to hit, I guess, besides Future Fusion and potentially if he sets a Raigeki Break, but if he's not playing any sort of ruler deck, this card's also just fine. Pot of Greed Rota, the double, or excuse me, triple Smashing Ground, because, like I said, Master of Blades is a concern, so I want to have multiple outs to it, especially if I lose the die roll. And then we're on triple upstart to try to just get our turn one Ophion set up immediately. And we're actually pretty low on the traps here. I have Compulse because it outs a lot of extra deck stuff. Torrential, again, out to Master of Blades, but a nice reset button. Triple Emptiness to try to lock out the game and just get a free win, honestly. And then Infestation Infection. I wasn't playing this before, but honestly, I was thinking about it. If I have this and a handful of Evil Swarms that aren't Caster, this allows me to just get the best one I have access to. And so by doing so, that actually could enable an Ophion line where I otherwise wouldn't be able to. It can be a brick, yes, but 
but also something else to search with Ophion as well and can help just accelerate the pace of the game. That's it for the main deck. The side deck, we have Darkfire and Thousand Eyes for the sided copies of Instant Fusion. Uh, this is no joke and out to Penguin Soldier plus Fencing Fire Ferret games two and three, but also then we can just get another four Dark to be able to make Key Beetle. That's kind of the idea here. We have Emerald to recycle Ophion, one Bahamut, one Nightmare. I have to remember I have Bahamut. This is just like mind control, honestly. Or not even mind control. This is Snatch Steel, which is even better than that. Pearl, we have two Feral Limbs because, of course, Kage to Kage is a Reptiles. May Stroke for stalling, I guess. The two 101s. I think having two 101s makes this deck a bit more lethal, especially with Kage to Kage now, because now, like, two fours can make something threatening, and we can take stuff like his big eye or something he leaves in attack position, like a big dragon ruler, for instance, and it actually gets it out of the graveyard as well. So I think I actually really like this deck now that we have something to do with our fours instead of just make Ophion. We have actual removal. The Key Beetle for the Key Beetle Lock. Heartland Drago is literally just a way to win the game if Gage has less than 2,000 life points, regardless of what monsters he has on the field. And so hopefully this comes up. See, we're playing new cards. And of course, Crazy Box, because we need it for Skill Drain. And then the side... This is where the mind games are really going to play out. So I know Gage has the Penguin Soldiers and the Fire Fair. So we have the Instant Fusions. Grand Mole isn't out to those as well. Mind Control can take Penguin Soldier, flip it up. I can choose just not use the effect. And then it just goes back to him and it's just sitting there. If it's Ferret that's fine, then I just, like, know it's Ferret, but it lets me get in for damage at the end of the day, and that's important. And then we have Triple Knock, because, again, if he sets Ferret or sets uh, Penguin Soldier, I can just knock it, and then we're perfectly okay. These are, like, all the cards I can think of that actually out both of those cards to protect our Ophion. And then, of course, we have, like, Dress. Compulse kind of does the job, too, but there's not many cards that cover both Fencing Fire Ferret and Penguin Soldier, and I never thought I'd be fucking saying that in a sentence. We have the third MST in case uh, he could side Skill Drain, or if he's just playing a non-ruler deck, like MST might just be fine. And then we have some other actual good traps, like Bottomless and Deep Prison, in case we need to just completely reconfigure our deck, depending on what deck he's playing. I don't know. We'll have to see. I... I honestly think this is the best Evil Swarm list I've made thus far, and I hope it actually performs. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, Gage, uh, I feel like I've said this multiple times now, but uh, you're on the verge of a banning again. <laughs> Don't remind <laughs> I feel like me. we've done this before. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I keep like dropping these games. I'm so close to like I tie up the series and I'm like, surely this uh -huh. is the one, right? And then you just kick my ass back again, bro, and I gotta keep working. So I am on the verge of a banning, but I'm very confident that I will be taking this game today. So I don't think I'll I'll let it. you know it uh it makes making the social posts easy because I can just recycle the ones from three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, like, right. Will Gage tie the series? Yeah. Will Gage take the lead? And then three weeks later, will Gage tie the series? Yeah, I've been seeing the same emojis there too. The the, the head exploding emoji every single time state. Whoa! Post. <laughs> of course. That, that's the progression series in a nutshell. Premium gold, though. A lot we can talk about when we're finished with our game here, but I, you and I are itching to play. So yeah. let's get into it. Shout out to patron Ferrito. Thank you for the support. Hope I uh, said your name right. Big die roll, Gage. Oh, okay. Big die Well, big rock, paper, scissors, I should say. Okay, pick something else now. I'm rolling the die, buddy. Oh. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. I roll the two. I roll the two. That's rock, and I will be going first. All right. I think we've finally seen the change of the tides here. Going first seems like the meta. We'll see if it pays off. I guess we'll see. Uh, I think it'll pay off for me. Cast oh, fine. yeah. Why Helio not, trope? bro? Perfectly okay. I'm smiling the whole okay. time you're doing this. Sure. I bet you are. Uh, let's go Ophion effect. Yeah. Ophion effect's fine. <laughs> We'll get our good old infestation pandemic, and uh, we'll set a card. Could be anything. We'll Could be literally anything. I'll draw for turn. I'll go to my standby into my main, okay? Yeah, we're those main deck penguin soldiers, yeah, idiot. Relax, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have some fun. I will start with cards of consonants, and okay. I will pitch All my right. white stone. I thought you might bring this deck I out. It's just I thought you might do it. It's just too good, and turn one Ophion's pretty good, too. Oh, wait, I need to draw first before getting that. I... Funny. You might want to draw. blue yeah. eyes was at the top of my deck, too, bro. Good thing I shuffled. Ooh. So I'm going to draw two. And then I will get a search for the uh, the blue eyes white dragon. A mandatory It's at search. the top of the deck Not again. I can't make this up. I, that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. We got blue eyes to hand here. Set Okaibo over here. All right. Okay. I got to beat Evil Swarm Ophion. All right. Let's go, uh, let's go Pot of Greed. I'll get a couple more cards in my hand. Jeez. You're getting plenty of looks. Yeah, yeah. Definitely taking a peep here. All right, uh, let's thin it a little bit. We'll go Foolish Burial. Pull something out yeah, the deck here. Sure. Okay, uh, off of my Foolish Burial, I think the right choice is this Blaster. 
So I'll get him out the deck. Sure. Guy's an asshole, bro. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> things don't change. <laughs> no Still a piece of shit. Um. Read you like a book for this yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. I kind of expected it, you know, but I still think my deck is like, it's just so efficient. The cards are so strong that I think this should be agree. a problem. I okay. Um, well, I also had to win the die roll. Too, you did, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> that also plays a big role. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one. I'm going to set to who. Okay. No, I can, I can do this. This is still good. I'm going to activate title, Dragon Lord of Waterfalls. We'll use its effect to uh, Foolish Burial here. Sure. Pull out another White Stone, and we'll just White Stone trigger. Get another Blue Eyes to hand. Okay. So I know you have two Blue yes, Eyes. Yes, you know I have two Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm two-thirds of the way to an Ultimate Dragon, dude. <laughs> just look out for... <laughs> you have yeah, Future Fusion, yeah, too. <laughs> look out for Pulmerization. <laughs> hard drawn here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to be okay with this, and I think I am. So I am just going to pass turn to you. Go ahead. Pretty loaded, so... Stand by main. Uh, caster number two. Uh, yeah. Heliotrope. Yeah. Battle. Yep. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to just take all this. Whatever. Uh, we'll go six, 1750. Uh, I'll just go through it. Okay. I'm at 1750, bro. Pretty low life, Gage. Pretty low life. Uh, second main. I'm going to think here. So, got two sets. Uh, in a perfect world, you have a way to out my Ophion, and that's terrifying. So, what are we going to do about that? Uh, we'll overlay. Okay. Key Beetle. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Let me... Okay. Yeah, Key Beetle's <laughs> fucking sick. That's that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Key Beetle's going to be fine. Okay. Uh, Key Beetle effect target Ophion. Yeah, that's good. I did not think we would get this far. That's insane. Okay. Um. All right. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw. I'll go standby. Main is exactly what I needed. Okay, I'm going to go activate Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. I will pitch a Blue Eyes White Dragon and target Ophion. I have the Wing Blasts in here. I had to change it up. I felt you like did this, change it up. Yeah, the, funny thing, this happened really well because Key Beetle only protects from destruction. I thought this would take care of some more sticky things on the board here. Flip the okay. pandemic. Come on. All right, show me your second Wind Blast. I know you yeah, have you, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you had to have <laughs> double Wind Blast to take care of this. So, okay. Glad I had me. the out for. Okay, so we'll put the Ophion back. But now I'm off to the races. I can start getting You it. are. Yep. Okay. And I've got some fucking moves for you, bro. Give me a minute. Okay. I bet. You've got a bunch of rulers loaded up. Like, you're set. Key Beetle also did deal with if one of those was Raigeki Break. Just Yeah. Saying. I know. I know. I, so the Wind yeah. Blast was so definitely like, the So, like, it needed to be today. double Wind Blast specifically. So, kudos. Kudos. Bro, I can nab up your Key Beetle, and I just might. I just might fucking take your Key with Beetle. With Big Eye? You could. Yeah. What's your follow-up? I don't think you have much going on in this deck. Like, you have the Heroic Challenger, which deals like 1,500, so that can't even kill me. I'm trying to think what the... I, I literally have anything I can do here, so I'm trying to think what the best board is. Heroic Challenger? What the fuck are you talking about? You have the... Oh, that, that takes two warriors, doesn't it? The, the Excalibur, <laughs> right? I'm trying to think... Oh, Excalibur! Could, I thought you meant like in the main deck. I'm like, no, 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 what? No. <laughs> I'm just trying to think if you could possibly kill me if I, I lose Oh, oh, I see. I see. I'm at 1750. I gotta be weary. I know, you, those evil storms got in. I know you have Silent Honor Arc, so maybe... That makes things a bit different, doesn't it? it just a tad. Nothing, like, too serious, <laughs> though. Oh, okay, this is the move. I got it. All right, we ready? Yep. Okay, I'm going to activate Title. We're going to banish just uh, a White Stone and a Blue Eyes. We're going to bring back sure. our Title. It's fine. Uh, I'll also use Blaster. We'll banish the uh, stream, and this will bring Blaster out. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Because that takes my normal summon. Okay. Uh, let me reroute this. Hold on. <laughs> I imagine you're probably summoning these guys anyway. Yeah, they're coming out anyways. I got to bring out both of these guys. I just had something cool, and I, it doesn't work out exactly how I planned it. No, I'm one to take risks, bro. Are I'm gonna you? I'm going to show you what I'm up to today. Okay. I'm going to show you what I'm up to today. All right. I'm going to normal summon Influence Dragon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Simply a level three tuner, but I'm going to use it to Synchro Summon. We're going to take care of the title. Are we seeing Leo? You're seeing the Keeper of the Sacred Tree. That we are. Alex. That we are. You can only target it during my main phase two. My main phase two. So Silent Honor Arc doesn't even take care yeah, of it. Yeah, that's true. I'll go to battle phase. Easy peasy. I'll get over this Key Beetle. Take six here and then 28 from the blaster, I presume. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Main two. It's the end of my turn. Duelist, go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Uh, main one. Got an upstart goblin, so... Get some more life back. I'll it definitely will take more life here. 
Okay, what do we got now? Influence Dragon's pretty cool. That blaster is going to go back to your hand at the end of the turn. Still got plenty of fodder with all these rulers, which is annoying. I can smashing ground the Leo because it doesn't target. No! In 18, 19. Oh my god, if I kept the title, it would have been bigger. <laughs> I didn't play around smashing ground. Okay, okay. Yeah. Notes for game two. Notes for game <laughs> yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Taking notes here. Uh, blaster back to hand yep. here during the end phase. That's fine. I'll draw for turn. Yep. Stand by. I can't believe that. Stand by main. Okay. What is this back room? Could be anything. Bottomless, trap hole, dimensional prison. You can play a lot with this deck. Um, I do have a line for game if I just throw two dudes on the board here. Okay, uh, I will go... Am I, am I scared of that? Probably not. We'll go title. I'll banish the stone and the influence dragon in my graveyard. Pop it back out. Okay. 2750. You have to have another caster, which you don't. I think you only have two. I'm just going to go for the game shot here, I think. Uh, it's going to cost two cards for my hand, but it's worth it. I'm going to use this blaster in my hand. We'll banish Mythic Tree Dragon, and I will banish... I will banish this Light and Darkness Dragon. Wow, hand. lad, too. Good lord. Yeah, a little, little tech option there. We got two level sevens. I'm going to go battle phase and hope this gets me the game. Take 26. 28. Prison. <sighs> yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm game so two. mad if I just had a monster instead of that upstar. I had game. So Yeah, pissed. nice key beetle. So nice key beetle, bro. I'm sure that it was there. Yeah, nice key. Oh, man. I, that game felt like it was going so well. I saw you on the two back row, and I was a bit nervous, but I'm like, okay, I can deal with, like, Regeki breaks, hopefully. And then the Wind Blast switching it up on me a bit there. But yeah. I thought you would be comfortable uh, with the Raigeki breaks. I know you know this list pretty well, so I had to switch it up just a tad, change small I've things. I've seen it there. multiple times, so yes, you'd be correct. All right. All right this isn't list. looking pretty. I don't know. You can't stick the turn one Ophi on. That, I mean, I that's can't. good for me. I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, right. I've got set three pass normal summon Heliotrope. That's Go a lot ahead. still. I'll see what I can do. I'll draw for turn. Stay on my main. See what you got. I do not see a better line than this. This is going to get disgusting if this works out i am gonna go start with foolish burial yep okay off of my foolish burial yeah yeah that's the move i am going to dump lightning dragon ruler of drafts debris into lightning i see coming in a minute we'll go debris dragon i uh, you did read it Do you i sniffed it out effect yeah, negation it's... anywhere uh i got vanities <laughs> Ooh, fuck. <laughs> how did I just forget about this card? Like, <laughs> I don't know how you forgot about this card. Like, it, it's kind of in the game. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... You're just... The Black Rose is too tempting to pass up. I was the so juicy, sure. The like, one for four. I was like, The one for four was going to be so good. Bottomless, I was like, none of those cards do anything, bro. You're getting Black Rose for everything you own. But, uh, I can't take care of this emptiness. Um... Glad to hear it. Now I'm, I'm looking like an idiot now. Damn. Uh, <laughs> do you like to pass the turn, buddy? I know you can't give do Give me a minute. Else. <laughs> I will set a card. Your hand is all... Yeah, that's right. Set those cards. <laughs> you can't do anything. <laughs> all those special summonable cards you got in your... You already wasted your one normal summon. Yeah, set, set them all. Yeah, we'll take those two. I Go don't ahead. give a shit. Your turn, man. Let me see all what right. you can do with your 1950 <clears throat> beat stick, bro. Nice deck. We're going to hit over your fucking debris dragon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, whoa, do. no. I'll take 950 damage. Good. That's what I thought. Um, I'll go second main. You just got a bunch of random back row on the field. Cool. Let's go set a monster. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw. Stand by me. Yep. <sighs> I mean, you're not doing too much. I'm chilling. Just swarming. <laughs> That's what the deck does. <laughs> Just doing some uh, eliminating, some eradicating, <laughs> some exterminating, you could say. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to card destruction. I'll wipe two cards uh, out, of my hand, one out of yours if this works out. Sure. Okay. That's fine. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to smash Ingram. No. Leo's Dragoonity Dark Spear. Yeah, You're on some level tech three this tuner week. there, but uh, we're going to draw two okay. more cards off the deck here. Yep. My vanities, importantly, still stays. Yep, only from field or deck to graveyard. Deck. Yep. I will, um, 
I will set a card. I will go to the end phase, and I will super read you for two cards. It was two dragons, sure. All right. You know what? I'm gonna have, I'm okay with this. Go ahead, your turn. All right, I'll draw. Uh, stand by main. So, what do I have to worry about now? Um, what do you have to worry about? I could tell you a flip effect monster that is uh, the most terrifying thing you've ever seen, Alex. Yeah, oh no, you're gonna bounce my heliotrope back to my hand. I'm so scared. Um, what else you got? You got like fire ferret, if I recall from your sideboard. Uh, you've also got... What? Some of the baby rulers just... Or some of the things in your deck just randomly have big butts, which is kind of irritating. Like, I'm pretty sure stream is 2k defense. Granted, they're limited, but it's still something I need to concern myself with. I'll poke. What are we working with? It is a white stone of legend, so I'll just use okay. it. I'll pick up another blue eyes yeah. from the deck. Sure. Uh, more cards for you. More cards for you. Uh, I'll just throw another one down. Good. Okay. All right. I will draw for turn. Yep. Stand by main. I'm going to hand a little shuffle here. I'm going to start with Space Typhoon. I'll go after the fresh set. Fresh set? Uh. Hmm. How much do I care about that? I'm going to go with not at all. Uh, it's a lance, and that will destroy my emptiness. Cool. Cool. All right. I uh, will go burner, dragon ruler of sparks. I'll pitch the blue eyes I added to my hand to special summon blaster, hopefully. All good. Any other vanities? Nope. Nope. It's going to resolve. I love it. It's going to resolve. Awesome. Yep. Dragon ruler of infernos now on the field. He's big. He is here. Anything to do with him, he or is, is he, he chilling? Yeah, he's chilling. Okay, uh, I will normal summon Influence Dragon. You're not really doing a lot over here. Uh, Me? I'm about to bring out a big level 10 beefy boy. I About to being to the key word there. What do you do? You make Leo, then you can like resummon the blaster because the blaster was summoned off of the... The burner, yeah. Burner? That's cute. I'm going to compulse your Influence Dragon. Ooh, compulsory evacuation device. Seems like a handy somebody, little card. Yeah, somebody's got to get out of a little sticky situation there. Um, I mean that's gonna work. That is gonna put sure. this back in hand. Huh? This blaster can't attack me. It so can't. Like, nope. <laughs> so what? The, what's gonna happen next turn? Is you're gonna go. I'm gonna flip up my other heliotrope, and then you're gonna, <laughs> and then you're gonna make Ophion. This blaster's gonna go to hand, and I'm in a world of trouble. And is there anything I can do about it? That's the main question. I can simply set a card and prage. We will go to the end phase. Um, this is going to stick around, I think, right? It sticks around until my yep. end phase, correct. Yep. I'll draw. Uh, anything standby? No, I don't. Main one. Um, well, the head card I was holding was Pot of Greed. I didn't want to use my emptiness or lose my emptiness. I, I get that. Say. Understandable. I'll draw a few fresh ones. Yep. We'll upstart while we're at it. You can take another thousand. Okay. Digging through the deck a bit here. Well, Gage, uh, it's not a set heliotrope. It's actually much worse for you. It is Evil Swarm Azathoth. What? That bounces it. Oh my god, shuffle! It no! It what? It doesn't bounce. This is way better. No way. I mean, You're not oh, the only man. one with flip effect monsters, buddy. Yeah, all right. Back to the deck blaster goes. I don't even have back a way to pull it out anymore. Okay. Indeed. Okay. Now we've got an interesting predicament. You've still got two sets. I obviously could just make Ophion. That's like the obvious thing to do. But do I just want to immediately play into what you had? If you have like Wing Blasts, you can only activate one anyway. Uh, we are post board too, so you could just have other random shit regardless. You could also just be dead here. Me? Let's try it. Instant Fusion. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, Dark Fire Dragon. Okay. King of the Feralimps. Okay. Uh, effect to search. Yep. Okay. Let's get Kage. Uh, let's go normal caster. Oh, I see why I could be dead here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Special Kage. Yeah. Uh, normal Mandragora. Okay. Battle. 
Wait, you said normal? Oh, yeah, because you're caster. Oh, my God. Extra normal from caster. Yep. Um. Okay, battle phase is fine. Okay. Uh, 11. Oh, my God. Wait, no, I'm alive, I think. Uh, okay, let's put it in here. 11. Okay. 1550. 1550. Okay. 1750. Okay. 1950. Oh my god, am I dead? No fucking way. What the fuck? <laughs> I got, how do I get OTK'd by the most obscure shit? Like I get OTK'd <laughs> by fucking frog monarch and now evil swarm. Like, what are you talking about? Uh, let me see what this last back row is. Give me some info. Uh sure. It's uh forbidden dress. Forbidden dress? You know this card sucks, right? Like, like this card's like actual ass. Um, I mean, okay. You, I'll give you this one, Alex. I'll give you this. One. <laughs> I, I, I still, I, I don't get it, bro. <laughs> you, you come out with the weirdest lines. You got that one. All right. Don't get too excited. You have your moments, Mister Simo. You, <laughs> you always never fail to surprise me. I swear. Uh, and we've been doing this progression series for what? How long? Three years now or something it's like, like three that? years or something. You'd never yeah. fail to surprise me. Always something, bro. Always something. Uh, Thanks, buddy. I try. I have to I have to try to make it interesting for you sometimes. I'm not happy that I'm going second here. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. But... You guessed it. I probably should just yeah. click the button there first. I'll be going first. It's, it's, too, it's too good. It's yeah. too Let's good. see if I can just get my game plan underway here. That's the big thing. All right. We'll go stand my main. Look. Uh, I'll start by giving you an additional 1,000. Appreciate it. You know what? I like you so much. I'll give you an additional 2,000. Oh, thanks so much, buddy. Of course, buddy. You're so no, kind. No. Now, I'm not getting OTK anytime soon, so that's good. <laughs> I'm going to go Cards of Consonants. We're going to pitch Debris Dragon from my hand. I'm going to draw two. Okay. Happy to see Debris gone. I think it's limited now. Uh, it is, yes. All right, bro. What are the odds you got that smashing ground <laughs> in your hand again? I, I don't know if this Leo is totally safe to make turn one. <laughs> <laughs> Smashing Ground surprisingly deals with a lot of your annoying yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So. You sure... What other side deck cards could you put in? I know you're not expecting Leo, but, like, you have to have just some, like... It, 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 generically good stuff. And I can't... I can't figure out what that is right now. We'll see if I regret this. Um, I'm gonna set one, and I'm gonna set two. Okay. I'm still thinking if I want to make this Leo. <laughs> I'm not. Go ahead. Your turn. Okay. I'll draw. I think it's standby. No, you're good. Okay. Main one. Uh, fortunately, mm. greed is on my side today. Yeah. Okay. Greedy guy. I can draw my cards. There we go. Okay. It's an interesting one, Gage. It's an interesting one. I can't tell if that's a good adjective or a bad one. Like. <laughs> I can't either. I'll be honest. <laughs> interesting. It Tell you what, we're going to go set one, set two, set three. Go ahead. I'm like totally okay with this. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. All right. All right, let's get it cracking now. Now I'm feeling a lot more confident. I'm going to use title okay. dragon from my hand. I'm going to banish this debris from graveyard. And I'm also going to banish this influence dragon from my hand. Any response? Oh, oh I've got a response. What you got? I don't think you're going to like it. What you got? So on my wheel today, Gage, I spun a wild card promo. And do you want to know what the promo card of my choice was? Maxi? Oh my god, it's a 10 promo! <laughs> no! My turn! It's like over! <laughs> no Put down way. that title, buddy! Put down yeah, that title! Okay, all right, you, you, you get one more card, buddy. That's I like, appreciate all right, it. Is the summon okay, though? It's sticking? The summon of title is fine. Dude, oh my god, dude. The playing field is equal now. <laughs> it is, oh my god, Max C. It's a one of in 42, by the way. I hate to see that. Oh. This bat, this, oh my god, is this freaking face down another Azathoth too? I just got introduced to that fucking shitty monster. Like, I, I'm, <laughs> how much do I want to get? He kicked my, your ass. Yeah. If you recall, my OTK started with me flipping that card yeah. up. Can you? Okay, are you nice enough to tell me, or do I have to look it up? Does it target? It does target. I know for a fact it targets. Okay, okay. So that's not what that is then, because then you you could easily just thumb over it. Mm. <laughs> it's still the right play. Mm, is it? It's oh, it's still the right play. It has to be. I'm going to give you another card, but I think it's fine. I'm going to normal summon Dark Spear. Going for Dark Spear here. Dark Spear doesn't do anything, right? No, it doesn't. 
No, it literally is just a. a yeah, I'm just using it as a vanilla. Leo. It just fit. The, the thing is, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it stats yeah. is for cards yeah. of consonants. That's why I play it. Which was relevant, mm -hmm. to be fair. All right, so relevant. is this summon okay? Uh, unfortunately, yeah, it's fine. Okay, we're going to go for the Leo. Hopefully, fade some bottomless trap holes. I'll torrential. Oh. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that deals with it. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Yep. It was as a thought. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn, you, you can't play around them all. Can't play around them all. And I just gave you a five-card hand, too. I'm... You did. Behind. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Falling behind. Unfortunately, that's my turn, man. Go ahead. Okay. I, please. Deck. Thank you, God. All right. Uh, Evil Storm Salamandra. No way. Yeah, he's good. Chain Kage to Kage. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, we will go battle here. It's more damage to do this. 2950 total. Unless you got something. I don't. I'm going to take it all. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we'll go second main. You're chilling on those two back row. Obviously, if I have Ophion, you need to have, like, your cards to protect against it. Well, you can't make Ophion. You need two Evil Swarms. I can't. I'm aware. I'm aware. Don't know if I want this little Kage to Kage sitting around, you know? It's kind of tiny. Thankfully, Leo's not a dragon. Uh, so you... <laughs> Very observant. I'd be surprised <laughs> yeah. if it was. Hey, there's a lot of weird shit in this game that isn't what it should oh, be. Oh yeah, okay? like <laughs> Dark just... Dunamis Witch being a fairy or something like that. That one's that one always I, shocks I me. Don't, yeah, it's a it's a dark fairy, <laughs> even though it's like a light I don't I don't know. It's like a remember. light fairy, but it's we a had dark the discussion. Dunamis. We had the discussion before. Uh my point being is that you only have one material for title, and that's what I like about this. I bet you feel so safe. I bet you feel so uh, safe. I don't feel safe. Don't get me wrong. I don't feel safe, but uh, I don't know. Do I want to make something? Keep the Salamandra around. If I get to more evil swarms, then I could actually make an Ophion, which would be sick. These guys are just, like, doing nothing. Problem is all your guys are just, like, fucking big, too. So, like, the rank four pool is not designed with big <laughs> attack stats. Shocker, right? I think I'm just going to set a card and pass, honestly. Okay. It's weird, but... I'll draw. I think I just want to keep the salamander around. Yeah. This going to look a little whack, but... I I'm in. I got to do it. <laughs> you did read a wing blast correctly, so I will play Okay. It, and I will stack... Nice white stone you just drew. <laughs> Maybe I just drew it. You don't know that. Uh, I, I don't think you shuffled your hands. So I'm pretty sure you did just draw it. Do I stack this Kage that you can't do anything with? Or do I have to stack the salamandra? Because if I don't, you make Ophion. If you have another Evil Swarm in hand, what could you have though? Why would Sa why would I don't think Salamandra would be your first summon? I think you would do like something like Heliotrope because it's bigger. You did draw two cards though. Like there's a very large possibility that you you just got dudes in your hand. <sighs> I you could just normal summon again next turn. I'm, I'll stack your Salamandra. I'll force you to draw this poopy normal summon again. Sure. Okay, and then I'll trigger my white stone. Yeah, that's fine. There's also a world too, by the way, that I couldn't protect the Ophion before you wind blast it. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like... yeah. Uh, I, this this will make a little more sense. I had to get my blue eyes because. Oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah, trading. That's good. Yeah, two more. All that value. Fodder for the title. And that white stone was like the perfect card for you. Yeah. Or the trade in, it whichever was the one you did. It was the trade in. Yeah. It was the... Oh, okay. You did draw the trade in. Okay. I'll activate title. Sure. I'll banish these two dragons. Summon. No response. I'll go battle phase and I'll get over Kage to Kage. We'll deprison it. Okay. And I can't search a water, right? They're one effect. Correct, because you summon title. Yeah. You thought we were past the point of playing deprison. I, I, dude, it never, again, never <laughs> failed to surprise me, bro. <laughs> Shit. Uh, okay. I'll just set a card. Your move. All right. I'll draw. Could be anything. Could be literally Standby. anything. Literally anything. Main one. Normal Salamage. Yeah, that's fine. Special another Kage to Kage. No way. All right. <laughs> Game's not fair. Okay, yep. I mean, this is almost game. I just need, what, to get an extra 22, 1850. I need, like, an extra 1,000 to come out of somewhere. Cool. Instant Fusion. Yeah. Darkfire. Yep. Uh, let's overlay these two. We'll go Feralimps. 
All right, okay. things are looking grim. I got I got to do something here. Uh, I will flip up another wing blast, and I'll put this fail limbs back. You could summon him again. Tempest was the last card in hand. No other dragons to do anything with it. Uh huh. That's annoying. Sadly, it's gonna resolve. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just go battle. Let's get another twenty nine fifty in. I will take it all. Yep. If it if it connects, yeah. Um, second main. I mean, you've got cards that do it. Uh, emerald. Yeah, <clears throat> emerald's fine. We'll go. What do I want back? Let's start there. Uh, let's go emerald effect. Sure. Put back Salamandra as a thought. You know, we'll take the max C while we're okay. On it. Yeah. Watch you draw it. I can't. I'm gonna be crazy. Doing enough shuffles. You see, I'm shuffling. I see. It, I see. Okay. It. I'm verifying. Okay. Uh, I will set a back row. Throw it to you. Okay. Uh, I will draw for turn. Stand by main. Yep. I'm gonna space that last the back row you just set. It was pandemic. I'm going to use Tempest in the graveyard. I'm going to banish this Blue Eyes and White Stone. Yeah. Got a, got a dragon. Yeah. I got to do what I got to do, bro. I'm going to attack over Emerald. Damage step. No shot. Oh, Woo! my God. <laughs> I, like, yeah, I didn't see we you. We did it, baby. I can't believe it. We beat the rulers. <laughs> you act like it's the first time, bro. I've been getting my ass whooped. Fucking play in this deck that feels No, with unbeatable. Evil Swarm, I've lost like every time That's I've played true. this deck. God damn, I was like, this hasn't been flipped up for like the entire game. I was like, this isn't anything. You got it. I can't do anything. <laughs> no, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy Crazy. shit. What's the last card in hand? Let me see it. Oh, it was a dark hole, so yeah. I had plenty of outs to leave. Okay, so uh, that, that's what I was thinking is like, I had, I drew this Tempest, right? And I had this really okay. weird line that would like put me to no cards in hand so it would make that wing blast dead, but I could make mm. Leo. And I was like, Leo is like good, but then I, like, what if you what if you out it? Like, what if you out it? Then I right. lose the game on the spot. So Yeah, I mean, I had the Torrential and the Dark Hole for the Leo, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I had things to deal with it. But uh, yeah, I it's this Emerald was weird because like it puts me not, I need a monster for lethal technically, um, which you thought it. I had in my hand the whole time. Yeah. But I wanted to just try to find more interaction in case you just, I don't know what you like. You could have gotten like future fusion or some crazy shit. That's what I was shit, hoping. Right? Yeah, th there's some cards yeah. like I need future fusion. If I could draw future fusion, the game's instantly like, I win. Exactly. Right? Like, I, I, I can't have MSTs lose. and stuff. So I was like, okay, if I can draw like another piece of interaction, I'd feel extra safe and better than just leaving two idiots on the field, in all honesty. Yeah. Um,. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So, you're playing some of the new cards here, like uh, Eclipse Wyvern. Yeah, fun stuff. Uh, we pulled Eclipse Wyvern from the premium gold, and I was like, it'd be pretty cute Same. if I could, like, dump it off of Future Fusion, you know, Dream, and then get Light and Darkness Dragon in the rotation, too. You remember back in the day, uh, Dragon Wars was actually playing Light and Darkness Dragon. I don't know if yeah. you remember that. Yeah, so I was like, hey, might be a cool uh, opportunity to try it out. Uh, just, I, I got to see, like, the power cards, right? I turbo through a lot of my deck, and uh, the ideal thing is you get to see the powerful one of us, but. Couldn't quite find them that time. Do it. Sure. I can't sure. I'm going to the banning. I. Oh, you are going man. to the banning. How have I lost you three What did times? you say? I have all bad cards, but uh, I'm sorry. I just won three in a row. Yeah, so. right. All right. You enjoy your fucking. They're not all bad. Maxi all bad. now while you have it. I get to ban a card. I, I don't even know what that's going to be. What do you mean? Right? Well, enjoy it while you have well, it. You have one too, too, buddy. Yeah, what if I just ban I was Ophion? about to say. What if I just ban Ophion? That'd be pretty happy. Could. That'd be pretty nice, right? You could just ban Ophion. Oh, you could. Um. So... You were laughing at my dress. I think I cited dress out for game three, actually. Yeah. Uh, so dress specifically was for if you were still on the Regeki breaks and you didn't switch off the wind blast. It's like, yes, it doesn't stop the targeting effect, but it still protects from the destruction sure. effect. So it protects from Regeki break. It protects from um, blaster. It also protects. So if let's say you did have your warrior penguin soldier out on the board, he, we didn't see him this game. Uh, I don't even know if you're still playing it, honestly, but if you were. I can attack your set and preemptively dress, and then you can't target Ophi on yep. that way. Yep. So it's like, it's not great, 
there's very few cards that overlap with fencing fire ferret and penguin soldier. Yeah. <laughs> so I was trying, so like it was dress. You're going to see this in the deck profile. Um, dress. Uh, I was on the noblemans, but you know, it is what it is. And then, um, uh, grand mole as well. Okay. Grand Moles. Yeah. And then instant fusion. Cause like an instant fusion thousand eyes, take it while it's set. That was the other plan. So, um, this had actually dual purpose, which was kind of nice and, uh, rank four turbo, but also if I need to out something, um, I don't know. I feel like, Granted, you didn't see, like, a ton of this deck. I felt like this was, like, the best version of this Evil Swarm deck that I brought, like, bar none. Oh, yeah. No, I... It just felt, like, the most equipped to, like, deal with. Not just, like, even if you played this deck, but even if you ran up with something else, I had a lot of, like, other just random good generic stuff that I could just play, like, beat down at that point or, like, rank four turbo. The Kages are actually pretty neat with uh, Master Key Beetle. Oh, yeah. So it gives me, like, an alternate Ophion if I open Vanities, which is mm -hmm. nice. So that was kind of the thinking there. I do think I had a good read putting in Wing Blast to beat, like, Key Beetle and stuff. I'm surprised you didn't yeah. get to make the ultimate lock, you know, where you target Vanities Emptiness. And then you have key Didn't have protected it. by emptiness. That would be crazy. But yeah, no, yeah. Um, I feel like the wing blasts were a good choice. I still think they were. It's just, uh, like I said, I didn't get to see the right cards or like any of like the super like I win the game cards, uh, which yeah. I think that's where this deck really shines because there's a lot of them. There's a I lot of them so. that I can just say it's an I win button. But your deck and is you like, have a lot of opportunities to draw them yeah. too, right? With cards of continence, trade in, upstart, all that stuff. I mean, that's gonna help you out in the end. Yeah, yeah. I I think your deck is also really good too. It's like kind of in the same vein of like the gadget deck you were playing, right? Like um, it, it just makes some rank fours, and sometimes that, that at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh. We have some of the bank best rank fours in the game at this point. Like Silent yeah. Honor Arc and Exiton was at this point. I know you don't have it, but just saying, like the the rank fours were able. If you had a deck, you could make them just based on that alone. Even just with 101, I felt like, especially playing Kage to Kage and Instant Fusion as extra ways to get fours on the field, I feel like I can actually do something that isn't just Ophion, right? Yeah. Like, if you have an established, like, a big eye or, you know, a big ruler, right, I can actually take it and, like, proactively try to, like, fight back rather than it's Ophion or Bust before. And that's part of the progression series' fault, too, because we don't have access to everything, but that's also part of the creative part of deck building is you have to figure out how to compensate for the weaknesses. Yeah. But, uh... Eclipse Wyvern aside, how else did you feel about Premium Gold? Um, I actually ended up pretty good with Premium Gold. Uh, I ended up getting Colossal Fighter, which I actually really wanted to copy because I don't think we nice. had access to him before. And it's uh, Astro Pack was the only chance. I think or yeah, had. that Turbo yeah. Pack. It was like an ulti or something. Like or that. Turbo Pack, excuse me, Turbo and Pack. And then yeah. um, what else did I get? I got like Eclipse Wyvern. Uh, Light Pulsar. Dude, I got all the God cards in Gold Secret Rarity, bro. Oh! Kind of a flex, man. I ain't gonna lie. I better look out. <laughs> better look out. Uh, other than that, I, it was okay. It was uh, good enough for me not to re-roll it. Did you uh, pull anything that like really stood out to you? I actually pulled a pretty decent one, and then I ended up throwing it back and respinning. Uh, I'm using all my respin tickets now, apparently. Right, but I know we're on the verge point, of right? the next era of Yu-Gi-Oh!, so I know that we're going to get some back. Yeah. Um... The reason was I really wanted Light Pulsars because I had like two or three decks that I could have made with Light Pulsar and uh, didn't pull a single copy no. in 30 packs. Damn, I, I, I opened an three. extra 16 after. It took me that many to see one Light Damn. Pulsar, which was depressing. Damn, really just don't want you um, to play Chaos Dragons. I guess not. No, I had, I had some other cool stuff uh, cooked up. Correct me if I'm wrong. You happen. have a Red Eyes Darkness Medal, right? That's probably... I do. Yeah. That's why I really I wanted remember. it. Yeah, there's, yep. there's some cool stuff with that, so... Didn't come to fruition like I would have liked, but that's okay. Um, I ended up getting, like, Lances. I only had one Lance before, so I ended up getting multiple copies of Lance now. Um, i trying to think if there's anything, like, else crazy. Oh, actually, so the first game, the reason why you were dead uh, is that if I drew a monster, I had Heartland Drago in the extra. Oh, and <laughs> yeah, I, I pulled him too. Yeah, <laughs> funny enough. Yeah, it'll Heartland it'll Drago's up. lethal. People forget that this was a card for a while, yep. and... Um, Speaking of good rank fours, I think this is one of the more underappreciated ones. And you were, I, ha I had to upstart Goblin, which put you back over the 2,000, unfortunately. <laughs> but still a pretty decent card nonetheless. So I got that. Um, the second run wasn't as good as the first, but I still got like essentially most of the good cards in the regular gold rare slot. Mm -hmm. So it's fine. It is what it is. We tried to play some new decks and we got punished for it. Surprise, surprise. And uh, you know what I got on my wheel because I showed it to you this game. Good old Max C, the equalizer. Yeah, able to get you two cards here. Did you draw into two bangers with that when I when I summoned Lee? No. No. I, <laughs> I didn't, honestly. So it didn't change I think, much. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. It was it was fine, though. It, it you know, replaced itself. I had an out for your Leo. That's all that matters. Yes. The card advantage is just too good at the end of the day. I think next set, though, if my memory serves, I think we have Dragons of Legend, maybe? 
And I think that set might actually change a lot if that's coming up next. It's either next episode or the following, but either way, there's going to be a lot of good stuff in that set. Mm Mm-hmm. Excited to see what the next episode is bringing. Hopefully, some victories, man. I, I gotta go to the banning next week. I'll figure it out. I'll figure. Maybe, it. maybe the Arc V era, the Pendulum era, is gonna be the age of games. Yeah, it's surely, coming. Bro, it's surely. coming. <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play MBTPlayMadolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Helios515, I tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio players soon, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, and Peyton McGrath. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.